I always like to start off the trip by doing this. Ready? Whee! Oh yeah, let's get to it. Hey, what's up everyone? Today we'll be doing something really, really cool. Something I've never done before, and that is throwing big baits. I mean, I've done it before, but um, uh, I had some back pain back in the day, and uh, recently I lost 50 pounds, and uh, back's been feeling a little bit better, okay? Moral story is, two things. You guys get uh, injury, make sure you guys take care of yourself. All right, back injuries are no joke. And then if you guys are, you know, a little obese, like Jimbo, I was close to 200 pounds uh, last year, but now I'm 145. Looking great. Uh, but yeah, I am gonna be throwing big lure versus small lure. And let's talk about small lure first, shall we? We got this tiny little swim bait here. This is from Spro, okay? They're Shad Swim Bait 25. And I'm throwing it on my BFS setup. My new Aldi Baron BFS, okay? 2022, of course. And um, got my Jackson Blast Beat. This is their Makimono Special. This is a light uh, tackle rod. And uh, this whole thing is a solid blank. Um, has some nice effects on it, which is gonna be great for this treble hook lure, all right? So anyway, let me put this in the back. I'm actually gonna start off with the big lure today first because, you know, there's eight people on the lake and it's still early in the morning. I wanna throw a big bait. Hopefully we'll attract those big fish first. I'm gonna go down all at the end of the lake with the big lure. Then I'm gonna come back with the small lure, okay? Uh, but anyway, uh, the big lure right here. The Jacko Gantrell Jr., okay? Although it's not super, big you know it's still considered one of my biggest baits i throw you know you guys see my videos i throw a lot of finesse stuff i think if i throw a, a you know paddle tail swim bait it might be this long okay but it's not as wide and crazy okay but uh yeah first time throwing some of these stuff um and on a kayak i've done it in the past like maybe in 2016 but like first time i was like i can't do it back pain Ugh, put it away uh Pond hop a few times, but you know, ponds barely have any big fish uh, unless you're in the you know, special ponds, right? But anyway, yeah, I'm on a kayak now, so hopefully, hopefully today will be a okay. Uh, I got my Daiwa Zillion SVTWG, which I portrayed end of last year, okay, during the fall. Um, and then I have it on my new rod right here, the Dobbins Champion XP. This is this uh, swim bait rod. This is the DC 794 SB. Oh, wait, it says right here behind. Anyway, I, le I left the specs in the description below if you guys are interested in anything that i'm throwing today which is you know everything you saw here all right anyway let's get out there because you know the fish don't wait and those anglers out there on the kayak they're not waiting they're out there um kicking butt i guess i don't know let's go all right as usual we gotta start off talking about today's weather right so it's been it's been raining okay today is cloudy no rain till evening and tomorrow's gonna be a crazy thunderstorm and um today is actually the warmest of the entire week it is currently 72 degrees. The water temperature is 68, which is pretty good. Um, and then uh, it's gonna go to 82 degrees. So, uh, ooh, what's up, uh, dragonfly? Uh, anyways, um, yeah, let's keep going. Um, let's get to some of the spots where fish may be. Now, I don't know if um, bass are still spawning on beds or anything. I, I really don't know. I haven't been in the water on a kayak for a long time due to um, family matters. So uh, we shall see, we shall see. First thing first, what I want to do is probably put this guy on the side. I just want to see how this thing goes. Yeah, it floats. Okay, here. And while it's going in the water, it swims so well. Like, oh my. No wonder people who throw swim bait, they love throwing stuff like these because it's so realistic. You could do a turn. Oh my gosh, it dive a little bit. Look at that. Okay. All right, enough said. Let's get out there and find some fish. First cast. Ooh. It's kind of hard to cast, I'll be quite, quite honest. It's a lot different, big lures, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna try to target, I guess, closer to the shallows. Hopefully we'll get some fish near the shallows, near some structure. I'm gonna get over there. All right, so wow. It, 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 it's a very noisy entry, let's just say that. I see some kayakers on the end over there, okay? Um, I know most of the big fish are usually in a deeper water, all season, okay? So, I don't know. We'll see what we can get here. Ooh, got it very close to the log, but you guys saw how crazy that uh, splash was? I'm just afraid that, um, you know, that might spook everything away. So it's gonna be very interesting. So I might not be able to throw it into banks uh, where the fish might be, but I could, um, you know, throw it past them somehow. Oh, the heck was that? Something is blowing up all at the edge right over there. Like all over the edge. 
But yeah, I was saying, instead of throwing stuff like that and spooking everything away, right? I could um, just do this. Oh, I think it's turtle dropping because I, I see the branch and another turtle just dropped in. But yeah, if, if that was a fish, you know, who knows? Could have bit it. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, I got to build up some confidence, get some experience casting these stuff. I can cast a lot softer right there. See that? Put it next to the logs like that. Potentially, these trees might hold a big fish. And um, let me put this uh, thing somewhere in the back or something. But yeah, I got a, a net, eagle net. And uh, it's gonna help me land some fish. They say big lures bring big fish, right? And for you guys to land big fish, sometimes you need a, a, net, a nice net. So I got a net. Very interesting stuff here. And I get it, get it right next to some of these uh, pads here. And the cool thing about this, this heavy rod is that I could yank it, uh, the lure out pretty easy when it gets into the weeds that's not you know too thick. But yeah, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I might be just reeling too fast. Wind is blowing to the left. Okay, I left blanks, a bank, so I kind of like it. I see people on the right side. I see some people, one guy on the left side. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Now, the water out here is getting a little deeper, five feet. So I guess I'll fish towards the banks. Springtime, best time to fish the banks, really. Um, if the bats finish spawning, potentially, if I need to find some drop-offs, look for those uh, spawning bluegills. They should be coming up very soon at the end of uh, May into June in my area, okay, depending how you know, the water temperatures are. So, you know, if I don't catch anything today, you know, I still got a, you know, probably a good old two months maybe, or well, at least one month of panfish spawning. And, uh, you know, bass love pan panfish, you know, Easy meal when they're just chilling there, right at the nest. There's a bass chasing it. Oh my gosh, the first time seeing a bass chasing this lure. So cool, I'm so hyped. It was about uh, twice as long as his bait. So it wasn't big, but you know, seeing that, that's possible, well, Whew. Fun, fun, fun. Now, I can throw the small guy and catch him. I'm sure uh, there's plenty of opportunity for that later. So I'm gonna keep throwing this big guy because you know I don't wanna give up yet. You know, I haven't hit the end of the lake like I said I was gonna do. And uh, I still got some stamina. And we'll just keep going. First fish! First fish! First fish! Oh! Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Um, net. I guess net. Yes. Trouble hooks, fish, net. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh man. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Look at that. Got him. Got him. Oh yeah. Alright. Got the first guy here. Not Big at all, as you can see, but yeah, he hit it, so I'm happy. Whoop, whoop. Oh, don't, don't, don't hook him back. All right, all right, guys, put this guy back in there, and off he goes. Whoop, whoop. All right, so first fish, not big, but you know, windblown bank near the pads, shallows, got him. Anyway, hydrate up, and uh, off we go. So, one thing cool about this lake that I'm fishing today is that so far, I don't think there's any toothy critters, okay? I have not caught any pickerels, okay? And uh, hopefully there's no snakies. You know, people have been uh, doing illegal transportation of snakeheads, although I'm a huge, huge fan of fishing for snakeheads. Guys, please don't uh, take snakeheads out of the river and put it into, uh, you know, beautiful lakes. There's plenty of places where you can catch snakeheads. It doesn't need to be everywhere else, okay? Ooh, thumb well, but that splash right there is probably no good. Yeah, I might, I might want to stand up and fish throwing this, but I really like the lumber support on my chair. It really helps on my back. Oh, got 
got another one. Oh yeah. Second one. Oh, came off. Ugh. It's okay. At least I know I hooked it and uh, yeah, better luck next time. Oh y'all. That was interesting. How did that happen? I didn't even throw it that hard. You guys saw that? Interesting reel. You know, sometimes um, not everything is perfect. I just don't know what the hell just happened there. All right, folks. So I fished to the very end of the lake. And, oop, turtles. Um, deep side. And I don't know if there's any, you know, fish that's going to hit this because it's, it's deep, you know. So I'm still going to fish some of the banks here because, oh, crap. That, that was bad thumbing on my end. And I hit it right on concrete. Hopefully it didn't crack. But yeah, hopefully there's some fish here maybe. There's a lot of anglers that passed this area a second ago. So um, yeah, hopefully they didn't catch everything. Leave some for Jimbo. But yeah, I am about to switch over to uh, the BFS size. Yeah, so far no problems here. But yeah, I'm going to do a few more casts here. And if I don't catch anything, well, switching off to the BFS. Glass swap over to the BFS, not because it's, you know, getting bites or anything, it's just uh, I can finally take a break. Holy smokes, man. Big lures, a lot of fatigue, but small lures, hey, cast all day, a okay. I thought uh, going BFS would uh, make everything so much easier because I could do a, you know, fish a finesse lure, catch some fish, but it's not happening. What's going on? I'm hitting the banks, just like those guys are, but uh, I don't know, man. They probably cleared this whole place out so far. By the way, it's um, an hour since uh, I got on lake. So yeah, it's um, a very popular lake apparently today. Weekend warriors. Fish. Get a little bit more drag on here. Come on. Come on. Got him through. Got him through. Got him through. Oh, what the? Is that a crappy? A spawning crappy. Hey, that's what's up. If they're spawning crappies, dude, I could be fishing for you guys all day long. Look at that. Spawning colors. Okay. BFS swim bait. Let's go. Now, I do have another swim bait that we could try if you guys want to see. Well, I guess you guys can't really answer, but it's the Gangcraft 70. Call 70. All right. There we go. Um, he is a spawner. Uh, he'll go back. All right, where there's one, potentially a bazillion. So I'm going to cast it back in there, and hopefully there's uh, one or two more here. <laughs> That's another one. Didn't set the hook on that one this time though. All right. You know, I covered so much of the banks right now. So we shall see. <sighs> Man. All right. No fish on this direction. Barely. I mean, we see fish behind me, outside deeper, but there's nothing really around here. It's very interesting. When it looks like it blows differently, or different parts of the lake, so, um, yeah, maybe I should cross the stream this time. Let's go. Let's cross it. Windblown side is probably better than uh, no wind side. All right, guys, this is a little interesting. I do that freaking small little shad thing. I got a lot of bites down over there, but uh, they're likely crappy spawning. I mean, the, the only fish I caught was a, a male crappy, right? But I have more thumps on a big guy than a small guy. And also, uh, as I'm paddling up and down this, uh, the edges, it seems like all the bass are definitely on post spawn. I, I saw some nest, right? And there's nothing on it. And then when I'm looking at uh, the end of the drop offs, I see fish. Like they're all the way at the bottom. You know, like the, the big, big guys, they're all at the bottom. So um, I decided to go back down this way because the wind blowing is, you know, blowing this way. And uh, I'm gonna keep throwing a big guy for a little bit more. And hopefully uh, I catch a big guy, you know? That's what I want. That's what you guys want to see too, right? But uh, 
I'll probably throw to uh, the small guy again once I get down there where the crappies are at. But yeah, right now, I'm just gonna do a few more casts and then I'm gonna swing around these guys and um, let's see if we catch anything. Woo, that was one tough trip. It is currently 3.15, I got on the water, 9.30 in the morning. And uh, most of the bites just happened in the morning and in the afternoon, it was shut off. No bites at all, terrible. And now my arm is freaking tired, jeez. But man, I am so happy I caught one, landed successfully with the Gantrell Jr. That lure is amazing. Like in the morning, I got uh, a chase, I landed one, and I dropped one. So that, that's pretty good. I felt like I may have gotten one or two more bumps, uh, but not quite sure. But I was surprised. The BFS size lures ugh, didn't really get anything. Like I caught one crappy using the Spro. I threw that a lot. I got a lot of bumps in the shallows. And I swapped over to uh, the Gancraft Claw 70 because it was slower sinking. And I got a few taps, but you know, nothing, nothing. You know, I was surprised that there were zero bass in the shallows. That tells me something. You know, that, that crazy storm that happened last night and yesterday, it basically rained all day yesterday, uh, shut them all down. You know, after the morning, they didn't really want to do anything. They hunkered down at the bottom. I did throw the chatter bait a little bit uh, to see if I could entice any fish, you know, at a deeper end and a you know drop off no luck no luck but you know what that's fishing right and uh the spring just started so well mid spring right, right now it's mid spring and uh i saw a lot of bluegills that started to go to a certain area of the shallows but not everywhere okay i saw some clusters here and there cluster nests that that is so uh yeah maybe within a week the water you know warms up a little bit those bluegills gonna be all over the shallows and I am going to be throwing that Gantro Jr. again or perhaps maybe several other lures uh, because it was it was pretty fun. Now my arm is super tired doing it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do uh, a BFS and that <laughs> in some of the waters I'll be fishing very soon because there's uh, two sea critters. I'm just going to throw the big guy and um, maybe I'll do some soft plastic ones. Who knows? Uh, that's definitely a lot cheaper. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to see Jimbo throw some Gantrell Juniors or anything, you know, glide baits and swim baits like that, leave me a comment below, recommend me something, and uh, potentially I'll throw that during the season, or heck, even fall season, because uh, you know what? I want to throw this big bait uh, more this year, at least at least six trips, okay? Uh, I do have a goal, one goal, and that is catching a snakehead on this guy, the Gantrell Junior, okay? Uh, I feel like the hook is pretty strong, so it will it will survive, at least this, this one. So. Um, who knows? It might happen very, very soon, especially with the snakeheads are spawning, right? You got a, a pod of uh, baby snakeheads and you have a bluegill swimming by. Bye-bye, bluegill. Anyway, guys, the fish don't wait. Thank you for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, smash the like button. You guys have some tips and pointers for Jimbo to catch more fish using, you know, big baits like this. Feel free to leave me a comment as well because I am on a journey learning. And when I learn things, I do share back with the people. So, um... That's how it is. That's how my channel is, all right? Anyway, once again, thank you. Toodaloos.